How to install a Nexus 1000V purchase license. My name is Neil Mueller, product manager for the Nexus 1000V. This is a three-step process. The first step is to install the software. There's two pieces of software to install, VMware vSphere 4 Enterprise Plus and Cisco Nexus 1000V. Install vSphere first because you're going to deploy the OVF file for Nexus 1000V on top of vCenter. The second step is to register a license. This is an obligatory step since the Nexus 1000V won't work until you register it. Now depending on where you bought the license, be it Cisco, VMware, or one of our channel partners, you may either get a letter in the mail or an email. In either case, you will have a product authorization key and a web link for cisco.com slash go slash license. Go ahead and go to that website. The first field on the website is asking for a pack. Go ahead and type that in. Now I wanted to mention here, in case you're deploying multiple versions of, of VSM, uh, you will want to do this twice. For example, if you buy 200 licenses and want to install 100 licenses on one VSM and 100 licenses on another VSM, you want to separate this and just do 100 here and then 100 later. In our case, we have four packs, all on one VSM. So go ahead and type those in, which we did, and click All Done. Scroll down. It's now asking for what's called a host ID. Now this is unique to each VSM, which is why we have to do it separately for each VSM. Type Show License Host ID and copy just the numbers. Go back to the web form, paste them in there. Tell us where you bought the product. In this case, we bought it from VMware. Scroll down, click the EULA, make sure your name is correct and click continue. Validate that everything looks okay. Click submit. This will queue cisco.com to send you an email, which brings us to the final step, installation of a license. Check your email box. You should get an email from licensing at cisco.com. In this case, the email has four licenses. We'll go ahead and save each to our TFTP directory as 1, 2, 3, and 4. So there we've done 1, and here we'll do 2. And we do 3 and 4 in just the same way. The next step is to copy these files from our computer hard drive onto our boot flash of our Nexus 1000B. So copy tftp colon space boot flash colon. Type in 1.lic. Enter in the IP address for our TFTP server and it was successful. So we'll do it the same way for the second, third, and fourth files. The next step is to install each license now that we've copied 1, 2, and 3, and 4 to our boot flash. So install license boot flash colon 1.lic. It'll take a few seconds for every license file to be incorporated into the Nexus 1000B license pool. And when it's finished, you'll know because it'll say done. There we go. So now on to the second license. Install license boot flash colon 2.lic. It'll take a few seconds and let us know it's done by saying done. Now one quick check to make sure everything worked out okay. We go to the CLI and type show license usage. We should have four and indeed we have four. That's it. Thank you very much for purchasing the Nexus 1000V. If you have any questions that pertain to licensing, please email licensing at cisco.com with an explanation of your question and we'll answer you very quickly. If you have any technical or service related questions, please contact technical support. Thanks very much.